All right, we got another amazing young talent with us here. Uh, Alex Bright of Pennsylvania, uh, standout midget driver, setting all kinds of uh, records all over the place everywhere he goes. Uh, been very successful in ARDC out east in Pennsylvania and has some amazing performances out here in the Midwest as far as when he comes up west and uh, competes with the USAC National and Power Eye. Um, amazing performance last year at the Chili Bowl in a family-owned car. Uh, light cap electric uh, PXP racewear car. Family-owned deal, shows up out of nowhere and uh, <laughs> goes all the way to fourth in the A. And, you know, him and Sammy are about killing each other on the track and making making waves. So it was awesome to be a friend of this guy. And uh, a lot of us are standing behind him, trying to get him out here towards Indiana to do this full time. Really deserving of it. Alex, what can you tell us about um, some of your highs and lows of this last year or so and uh, what's going on? Uh, yeah, thanks for having me on. Uh, definitely the high was the fourth place at the Chili Bowl. It's not what I wanted. You know, we, I'm a driver. I want to win. So, but um yeah, me and Sammy were going at it. Probably held me up a little bit, but uh, it's part of racing, so I'm going to try to do better Wait, this year. You hear what you just said? Sammy Swindell held you up a little bit. Yeah, yeah I said that. All right. <laughs> Got it. Um, at the Chili Bowl. I'll, I'll call him out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 50,000 people saw it. You got proof. Yep. <clears throat> so, um, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, next year, but, I mean, this this past year was, was pretty good. We had – uh, five wins, uh, just some micro stuff too. I had six wins in micro, so 11 wins total this year. And um, I, I definitely want to improve on that next year, but I, I'm hoping to do some more midget shows next year also. All right, you uh, had a bunch of success down under. Um, what can you tell us about Australia and kind of travel in that sector of the world and you know what's going on with any down under racing for you? Um, you know, this uh, last year I went down there. I had a pretty good run. This uh, I was just down there about a month ago and had some bad luck. But uh, it's, when you go to down there and race three races, that's like one weekend up here. So <laughs> um, now I gotta wait. Like I gotta wait till February to go back down to improve my results. Yeah. But um, I mean, the competition is just hard down there, and I'm, I'm looking forward to going back down in in February to run the Australian national title. I got second last year, so hopefully I can uh, get the title this year. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, there's been a bunch of performances out here as, as few times as you get out here in the Midwest. Uh, you know, a standout performance this year was at Lawrenceburg Speedway during Midget Week with uh, Rico Abreu, ended up being the champion. And, you know, it was uh, you definitely made a bunch of fans that night. I've been out here uh, almost 10 years now. I've never seen a standing ovation for any driver uh, anywhere out in Indiana besides Alex Bright here in the uh, midget performance that he put on battling with Rico. And uh, ended badly for you, upside down or on your side there, but um, there was some drama there in victory lane, people thought, and you know it ended up being nothing but a class act performance from yourself. Uh, some hard racing, some you know, contact and slide jobs there, and. It was, uh, it was awesome to see both of you guys come together and kind of do what you did there. Um, anybody has access to video on that race, it was the uh, 2014 Lawrenceburg Midget Week feature. Amazing, amazing performance by these two, and that's why they're getting the opportunities they are. And uh, other than that, uh, the midget stuff, what's going on sprint car stuff? Um, you know, obviously that's got to be the next climb for you. Any interest in sprint cars, or you want to just completely dominate the midget world? I mean, I'd love to dominate the midget world, but no, uh, that's that's my next step. I want to get into a sprint car, uh, winged or wingless, doesn't matter. But um, I, I definitely want to move up into it to, to show what I can do there also. You're definitely in the right spot. Um, your hometown there, you're in the middle of Pennsylvania posse land. Uh, you know, <laughs> so many tracks, so many race teams, somebody's... I know people are watching you. It's just a matter of that one guy, you know, that's going to call you that day for, you know, putting you in a sprint car. And I'd love no, nothing more than see you, you know, pull off a win at Williams Grove or something, you know, in your home state, you know, at home. And it's, uh, that means more than anything. But until then, go out and kill them in the midgets. And uh, nice to have you here. Thanks for having me on.